The B Plus Recap Countdown. Hey everybody, it's B Plus and welcome into another recap countdown. As always, thank you so much for taking this time and rocking it here with me. Um, now you guys know that I love, love, love Christian hip hop, but every once in a while with these recap countdowns, I like stepping outside of our subgenre and taking a look at something outside of the normal genre. And today we're gonna be taking a look at gospel artist Doe, that's D-O-E, in her latest project entitled Clarity. Now trust me, this is not your typical gospel album. It has a little bit of uh, R&B on it. It has a little bit of pop music, a little bit of CCM on it. So this is not your typical gospel uh, album. I know you guys are going to enjoy it. Doe is an amazing songwriter. Um, she has just as many bars as your typical rapper would. Um, and she's an amazing singer as well as you guys are going to find that out really quickly. So let's go ahead and get ready to get into this recap countdown. But really quickly before I get into this recap countdown, if this is your first time, this is what I do. I take a look at my five favorite bars, my four favorite beats my three favorite tracks my two favorite features and I'll do one final recap in this case it's not really beats it's more of like arrangements because there are songs but and then also when it comes to features um, there aren't any features actually there's only one feature on this project so what I decided to do is is to take a look at the two times Doe was featured on another project and highlight those so without any further ado let's get into this review five bars the accuser is allowed Accuser is loud. You will sing a song of love to me till I come around. He will chase me down. You are chasing me now. We were just the victims of everyone's expectation. Oh, yeah. Fighting for you. Because of poor communication I'm not very eloquent in speech I don't always know how to sound holy when I speak Papa told me something happened When I pray Love, 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 love what you've been doing It's undoing the lies that I believe Everybody's happy but me I wore it so well It covered up my identity Because I pretend so well But I question as well Tell the people what they want to hear or catch Hell, there's a Okay now, so I told you guys that her pen was nice. Now from a lyrical standpoint, I thought that this album was perfect. Um, I thought that a lot of it just came from a place of authenticity and you can really hear it in each and every song. So uh, my fifth favorite line on this project goes to Mercy. I liked how she talked about how God's voice has to drown out the voice of our accuser and he's always accusing y'all. So um, that's a very, um, very real line there. Uh, moving on to number four with Hey You. Um, I like the ballad, or maybe not so much of a ballad, but um, a duo between her and Jonathan McReynolds here, talking about relationships, talking about those two relationship killers, uh, poor communication and, and bad expectations. And um, it's nice that you can get this from a gospel album versus having to go to a secular album to uh, to kind of get this type of um, this type of uh, vibe or this type of song. So really enjoyed that. Moving on to number three, when I pray, uh, one of my favorite songs, one of my favorite lines on this project just because um, I used to always think that I wasn't good at praying because I grew up in church where you had some deacon or a mother of the church who would pray so eloquently and I didn't I couldn't do that um, and I just really understood that prayer is just really just having that conversation as you would with a friend to God so really enjoyed that line and then moving on to uh, undoing my second favorite line on this project. I like kind of the wordplay there. I like what God is doing. It's undoing me. Um, I like what I'm unlearning, but I'm still learning. Um, I like that a whole lot. And then finally, uh, I try my favorite uh, line off of this project. It really resonates just because I am kind of a, I'm more of a peacemaker. Um, oh, sorry about that. I'm more of a peacekeeper more so than the peacemaker there's a slight difference there um and i sometimes i can kind of walk on eggshells because i don't want to ruffle any feathers so uh really like that line there so let's go ahead and move on to my four favorite pieces of production on this project four beats Oh, 
Okay, so those were my four favorite pieces of production off of Doe's Clarity. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit brief. I felt like I talked a little bit long on the lyrics uh, on the bar section. So starting things off with number four on Take Me Back. Now you have to listen to the beginning of that song to really appreciate how the song ended. It started off very slow and the drums kind of picked up and it really had like this uh, dramatic, climatic ending there. Uh, so that was my number four favorite uh, piece of production off this project. Moving on to number three. I really like So Good. That organ was perfect. The song had a little bit of um, bounce to it. And really, uh, three and four uh, take me back and also So Good. This really shows the contrast in the production on this project. And uh, speaking of bounce, you gotta go over to number two for Clarity. That song just definitely had that Louisiana bounce to it. That's one of those songs you just roll down the windows and kind of ride to. So really enjoyed that. But my favorite piece of production on this project has to go to Good Now. It just had the 808 on there had the trap drums it just really had it all one of my favorite songs on the project so it might be in my top three but uh let's go ahead and hop in to my top three you just might hear that song let's check it out hey y'all this is quote from the tastemakers pod listen i hate to interrupt the recap countdown but uh I gotta let y'all know what's popping off with Domination 2022 in Richmond, Virginia. Now listen, the Domination Fest has been going on for years now, definitely locking down VA and surrounding areas when it comes to Christian hip hop festivals. Listen, this year we got your man Swoop, we got Canton Jones, we got AI The Anomaly, we got none other than 1K Few, and listen, if you like what you're listening to right now on the recap countdown, we got your girl Doe. So once again, if you enjoyed Doe or any of those artists I just mentioned, or just love good Christian hip hop, definitely make your way to RVA Domination 2022. We'll see you there. Hey, back to the recap countdown with your man B+. Three favorites. Whoa, what? Hey, welcome back it's b plus so as you heard uh good now did not make the top three it was slightly edged out by brighter uh brighter was the intro track for this project it really kind of set the table for this entire project i really like uh like the harmonies the strings the ooze from the background singers um but then like her voice no pun intended was just very bright over top of all that so that was my third favorite track on this project 
Moving on to number two, I try. Um, like I said earlier, um, the song just really resonates with my personality. Um, and one line that she has in the course is she's shedding performance. And um, you don't think that you're performing for people, but you really are when you're trying to just keep peace in every environment that you're in. So um, that song um, and that line in particular, I'm shedding performance, really resonates a, a whole lot with me. And then lastly, my favorite song on the entire project goes to When I Pray. Now, um, I have to be careful when I listen to this song because for me, it's a very um, emotional song. Um, I thought she did a very good job of uh, conveying that emotion, that passion without being overbearing. Sometimes singers can get into that into that pocket where they're being very emotional and they can kind of be doing too much. But um, Doe does not do that. Um, and then like at the end where they have like a little bit of like that clean break, the choir comes in, the snaps. Uh, man, I have to really be careful when I check out that song because um, it just kind of hits me in that, in that spot every single time. All right, so let's go ahead and hop over to my two favorite features or two favorite times Doe was featured on somebody else's project. Two features. He sees every tear that's falling away. Okay, so those were my two favorite times where Doe was featured on another artist project. Uh, kind of picking up where I left off, uh, Keep Praying was on Maverick City Music's Juneteenth Jubilee project that came out. Probably one of my favorite songs on that project, and that's saying a lot because they had a whole lot of heat on that project. Actually, that line on that song, Every Prayer Today is a C for Tomorrow, that actually kind of inspired me to do the Christian hip hop prayer calendar that I did last year for you guys that follow me on Twitter. Um, I did that prayer calendar and this was one of those songs that was the catalyst for that. But uh, my favorite, my number one song featuring Doe was on Jonathan McReynolds project called Make More Room. It was a duet, it's called Cycles. Man, it doesn't matter how long you've been walking with the Lord. It doesn't matter how safe you think you are, how much scripture you can quote. You go through cycles in life. You go through times where you struggle in your uh, in your walk. You struggle in your faith. And this is just one of those songs that talks about that. Uh, one of my favorite all-time Jonathan McReynolds songs. So it's definitely one of my favorite uh, Doe featured songs as well. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into my one final recap. One recap. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out this recap countdown and rocking it here with me. I know it's a little bit different. You used to be doing uh, these recap countdowns on Christian hip hop albums, but this is one of my favorite projects of the year. So I had to step outside and do something a little bit different. I'm just very uh, impressed with the way she's able to just convey her message in a way that it sticks. Um, either you find yourself uh, humming some of the melodies later on throughout the day, or you just find yourself thinking about something that she said on the project and it's just kind of like which one does she do first does she write the song first or does she just come up with the melodies first kind of like with rappers um do they write the the song first or do they get the beat first it's kind of like that same type of concept she's very very dope at what she does and if i can sum up this project in one word i would say unafraid i would say that this is a project that speaks from the frustrations of the meek and i say that just because um one of the the fruit of the spirit is being meek and that doesn't mean that we're weak, but it means that sometimes we have to take the low road. And sometimes that means that people are gonna feel like they're, well, it's gonna feel like to you that people are taking advantage of you. But I feel like this uh, this album just kind of speaks to that and she does it in a clear way. And that's what I feel like this project is called Clarity. She's just found clarity in her walk. She found clarity in her life. And um, that's just the mark of a good artist. Uh, you can listen to a project like this and kind of draw your own conclusions. 
about what this album is all about. Oh, and there was one song on this project that did not make the recap countdown. That's not because I didn't enjoy the song. The name of the song was called What I'm Waiting For. And she really got into her CCM bag on this song. But the cool thing about that song is you can easily flip it and make it like a pop song. You can uh, make it more bouncy, even more trappy. She can do a lot of things with that type of song. But she decided to get into her CCM bag and it really shows her versatility even more. So um, hope you guys have enjoyed this recap countdown. Um, I had a whole lot of fun putting it together uh, wherever you go to listen to your music whether it's spotify apple amazon and there's a whole bunch of other ones out there wherever you go make sure you go run up the numbers for a doze project entitled clarity and um, hope you guys have a good one and one last thing before you guys go if you enjoyed this video and think you may be interested in more content just like this feel free to hit that red subscribe button make sure you hit the thumbs up and share and do all that good stuff um, like I said, I normally do these videos on Christian hip hop. So if that's your thing, um, I have a whole lot of that on this channel. I like these to be interactive. So make sure you go down in the comment section and let me know all your favorites about this project. Uh, let me know if there's an artist or, or an album you think I should check out. Um, I may have time to go ahead and do that as well. Uh, I'm very active on Twitter. I can be found at DJ underscore B underscore plus. Like I said, every like, comment, share, all that adds up. I appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, peace in, confusion out, and be positive.